So we have the general topology for our new base body, and now we just need to tidy it up and fix the details. Not a problem. Now personally, I prefer to do most of my polymodeling stuff in Blender. I think sculpting in ZBrush feels very organic and natural, but polymodeling in Blender just feels more natural and intuitive. Use the software that you feel is most comfortable for each task. You don't have to do everything in ZBrush. You don't have to do everything in Blender. A lot of professionals bounce back and forth between different software depending on what stage in their workflow they're in. So don't be afraid to do the same. Now, the first thing that I do is delete half of the body and use a mirror modifier instead because there's some reason the symmetry settings in blender aren't really reliable and when you start cutting slicing and extruding new points sometimes the symmetry tool straight up just doesn't work so that is why we use the mirror modifier instead because that always works and it allows us to turn the modifier on which allows us to see things more clearly a lot of the time the z remesher doesn't do a perfect job for example you can clearly see here that this poly loop is incomplete so we can just press E to extrude a point and press F to fill everything together. Now, every time you make a poly modeling adjustment like this, the shading will become ass. In order to fix this, select everything and in edit mode under mesh, normals, reset vectors, and now it should be fixed. Also, if we go up here, you will notice the boobs have a bit of a weird topology. A good general rule for this area is you want the topology to circle out from the center of the nips. So we're gonna delete this hold alt and left click the edge loop, press E, enter and S to scale it however we need. And just repeat the process a few times until we get everything centered out. Now, if we zoom out, we can tell the nips are a bit off to the side, which is okay because in real life, they're not always gonna be smack dab in the center all the time either. Artistically, it's really your preference on how perfect you wanna make them look, but I'm just gonna move them slightly more to the middle, but not perfectly in the middle, so they look a little bit less manufactured. Now, if we look over here, there's some weird stuff going on and we'll just use some basic poly modeling to fix that. Once we've done that, we'll go up here and yes, this little triangle over here does bother me. So I'm just gonna hide the head, add an edge loop and then fix it up like this. Okay, now we are at the point where if you wanna make sure that you have enough edge loops where the animation bends are going to be. So be sure to go around where the hips are, put enough loops around this joint and make sure the joint on each finger has enough poly loops to bend as well. I usually like to put three around each joint and then make sure we got enough loops on the wrist, elbows, knees, and ankles. At this point, really all that's left is to fix the UVs, so let's go ahead and delete half the face and mirror everything properly. Okay, now I am noticing that her nostrils are unusually high up in there, so we're just gonna hide everything and use the smooth brush in sculpt mode to make it a little bit less extreme. And now we're gonna draw seams to guide our UVs. We'll make one here on the shoulder, one here for the ankle, and divide the foot in half, add one up on the inside of the leg, and then divide the hand. All right, now at this point, we can basically just UV unwrap the entire body. Now, if you have more time, you can definitely make these UVs a little bit prettier, but I am operating under a time crunch, and I know that this character isn't really gonna be seen up close very often by the player, so I am not gonna spend the extra time required to perfect all of these UVs. The important part is that we know we're going to be using Substance Painter for the texturing. And in order to use the cool features we have in Substance, we need to keep the UV maps proportional. So that means after we unwrap it, don't change the sizes of each piece individually. Even though we have some extra space here that we could fill up, you don't wanna change the size of these islands one at a time. Because if you do that, the skin pores on this area might be bigger or smaller than the skin pores in this area. Okay, now we're just gonna do the exact same thing for the face. In reality, the face and the body are going to have separate texture maps, so they might look like they're overlapping here in Blender, but don't worry, in reality, that's not going to happen. And now we're basically done. The only thing left to do is mirror the UVs, but before we do that, under the mirror modifier, we're going to want to check this U, and now when we mirror, you will see the UVs perfectly mirrored on both sides. If you join me next video, I'll show you how we take this UV'd version of the body and start adding details for things like skin pores and skin textures. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.